Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will look into an important topic which had a lot of weightage of marks in NATA 2021 attempt one paper that is architectural terms and their meanings, which we have covered in our last video and is linked above. So starting with the first term that is aisles, which means side wings adjacent to nave in a church. So let's understand this term. For that, we have an interior image of a church showing the central part and the highlight shows the aisles at both the ends of the church or simply the outer corridor of the church like it is also marked for you in the plan above and also in the section showing the same. Similarly, we also came across this another term that is nave. So looking at that nave, which means the central and principal part in the church. So here we again have the similar image of the church with the plan highlighting the nave that is the central part of the church or the central corridor, which leads you towards the deities. Moving on, the next term is arcade, which means a range of arches supported by columns. So looking at the image, you must be pretty clear that arcade means many arches together with vertical supports they can be semicircle arch or a pointed arch or any other kind of arch like you can see in the diagram with this we also come across the term arch so now arch means a circular or decorative support to cover a span to support masonry above so like you can see in the image you have two vertical supports and a radius of the arch which then supports the masonry above and here is the image for your clear understanding Moving on, what is architrave? A molded framework around the doorway. This time, don't be confused, it is not an arch. Architrave means the border of a door or a window or any kind of opening, like it is marked for you in the diagram. Or it also can be the primary border for the columns, like you can see in the image above. Moving on, the next term is attic, which is a room in a roof. So like you can see in the image above, so the sloping roof contains a space which has a maximum of height at the center which slopes down at the sides and this space can be converted into a small room like you can see in the image and also if you have seen the movie Harry Potter, this is the same room he has which is called as attic. Moving on, the next term is baluster, which means vertical supports in a staircase supporting a handrail. So here is one kind of a baluster, which you can see used many a times in series, supports the handrail above and the baluster can be in any shape and form like you can see or it can be also used for the staircase which has glass railings like you can see in the image. Moving on, the next term is beam that is horizontal load bearing structural element in the building. Here is the image where the red highlighted supports are the beams which are horizontal and directly supports the slab. Here is another image showing you the beams, the horizontal supports. So the next term is interlinked with beam that is column which means vertical load bearing structural element in the building. So this is the vertical support to the load bearing structure looking at the image the vertical support marked in red are the columns. Now you must be pretty clear about beams and columns. The beams are yet there in this image as well but are not marked red. Like you can see in the same image as the beams, the horizontal ones are the beams and the vertical ones are the columns. And here is the another term completing the structure that is slab which means horizontal surface bearing structural element in the building. So like you can see again it is marked in the red here again there is columns, beams and the slabs. The slabs are the surfaces supported by columns and the beams. So moving ahead. Next term is buttresses, that means a projection of masonry in a wall to give an additional support. So like you can see in the diagram above, this, there is an arch and the buttresses are an additional support to the vertical supports of an arch. Now with this image, you'll clearly understand what the buttress means. So it is clearly an additional support to anything which wants to stand taller. Moving ahead, the next term is CAD. So CAD CAD is a short form which is a software used by architects, engineers etc to create drawings, measurements, specifications and add in to their design which can be easily conveyed to any person on the site and produce the required design on the site. Moving on, the next term is cantilever. That means a structural beam or a floor projecting beyond a building without a support. So like you can see in the diagram, the slab which is protruding outside 
like the beam or any support and has no support at one end of the slab is called cantilever so here is an example which clearly shows there is no support at one end and the structure is freestanding with just one support here's another example Moving on, the next architectural term is chhatri, which means an umbrella-shaped pavilion. Like you can see in the images above, these are used in many of our monuments, including the Taj Mahal or the Humayun's tomb or the Lal Qila. You must have seen this at many places. These are just small pavilions or gatherings for recreation. Moving on, the next architectural term is cornice, which means decorative band of molding. So like you can see in the diagram above, the decorative piece is marked and also there are more such images showing the decorative bands at the ends of the roofs. Moving on, the next architectural term is curtain wall, so which means non-loaded bearing wall of either glass or reinforced plastics covering the sides of the building. So looking into the image, th this is a curtain wall which is is clearly of glass facade and just acts like a curtain or a transparent barrier. Moving on, the next term is eaves which means lower most edge of the roof that is sloping or otherwise. So in the image above, you can clearly point out what the eaves which is marked for you. And here is a section showing the eaves part of the roof which is the bottom end part of the roof like shown above. Moving on, the next architectural term is purlin which means a horizontal beam in a roof resting of the principal rafters to support the roof. So like you can see in the image above, the purlin is the horizontal member of the roof. Like you can see in the image above, the, the member which runs throughout horizontally and supports the roof and the rafters is called a purlin. So now coming to another term that is rafters. So rafter like you can see is the vertical member. So this is same like beam and column. Moving ahead, the next term is shikara which means a spike like structure pyramidal in shape erected above the Garbhagriha of the Hindu temple. So like you can see in the diagram, the unhighlighted one is the Shikara, which is the center most part of the temple. So Shikara basically means the mountain and hence the tallest part of the temple is called the Shikara. Also there is another term that is Vimana. So the one which is triangular in shape is called Vimana. You can clearly see the difference in the images. Moving on, the next term is Garbhagriha, which means the enlightened shrine of a Hindu temple. That is the center most part of the temple where we are not allowed in most of the temples. That is the center shrine of the temple like you can see in the image above. So moving on to the next term that is Stuko, which means relief decoration in wall by molding plaster. So like you can see in the images, the decoration which you see in these ancient buildings or churches is called stuko moving on the next term is gopuram that is a gateway tower of a southern indian temple so like you can see in the diagram when the vimana a triangular shaped shikara when it is having a gateway is called a gopuram that is a gateway of the south indian temples like you can see in the images Moving on, the next term is called lintel, a horizontal beam-like structure over door or window. So like you can see in the images and the diagram, the upper part of the door or a window which supports the door or the window is called lintel and it is not called beam. Beam is a structure which supports the slab and the lintel is right above the window or any opening. Moving on, the next term is called mezzanine that is a level or floor between the ground floor and the first floor. So like you can see in the image a volume which has a double height and also can include another level in between and add another floor is called a mezzanine like you can see in the images so the front portion is a double height volume and the back portion is is divided into two parts and the upper floor is called as a mezzanine moving ahead next term is called as skirting which means a protective tiling at the base of the walls above floor finish so like you can see in the images so the flooring which is done on the wall as well to protect the walls from any kind of water or sweeping or mopping and protects the color on the walls is called skirting. Next, 
वास्तुशास्त्र विच मीन्स आर्किटेक्चरल डिजाइन प्रिंसिपल अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू वेदास सो वास्तुशास्त्र इज अ स्टडी ऑफ द हिंदू वेदास सो ऑन दीज प्रिंसिपल द आर्किटेक्चरल डिजाइन आर डेवलप्ड इन सम केसेस विच इज टोटली डिपेंडेंट ऑन दिस वास्तुपुरुष एंड द डायरेक्शन दैट इज नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट सो द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज कॉल्ड एज वर्नैक्यूलर विच मीन्स स्टाइल और टाइप ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर पिक्यूलर टू स्पेसिफिक कल्चर ऑफ अ रेस और लोकैलिटी सो एनी फॉर्म और स्टाइल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर विच इज फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिन और द प्लेस और इट्स लोकैलिटी और द रेस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वर्नैक्यूलर सो लाइक यू कैन सी इन दीज इमेज अबाउ सो योर वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो मेक श्योर यू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड यू वॉन्ट मोर सच वीडियो नेक्स्ट वीडियो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द मटीरियल यूज इन आर्किटेक्चर विच इज ऑल्सो अनदर टॉपिक विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन योर नाटा ऑल्सो इन योर आर्किटेक्चरल जर्नीस सो मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब अंटिल देन सी यू बाय